back with the disgruntled baseball fan. This is Tim Tugger Carroll, ladies and gentlemen. Tug, tell us why you're a little upset about a decision that came uh, on Sunday. It's specifically uh, Bonds and uh, Barry Bonds and Clemens. Yeah, they didn't get a, they didn't get bonds. enough votes on the contemporary Hall of Fame ballot with the drop. Sixteen voters, you had to get seventy-five percent of the vote. Only one player got in. That's uh, the crime dog, Fred McGriff. So yeah. tell us. Which he deserved. Which okay, deserved so that. you think you think Bond should have got in? Sure. Specifically, Bond, you're a little upset about. Five thousand percent. Tell us why you're upset. Dude, his stats speak for themselves. Most home runs in history, seven sixty. Right. I mean, uh, you know how many times he walked, how many, you know, just has the greatest stats in history. And 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 they're holding him to this ridiculous standard because they think he took steroids. And he, he never, cheated. He, he cheated. And he cheated. He cheated. But he never failed a drug test. Right. And the time in question, where he supposedly took them, they weren't being tested. And they didn't test for me to... Right. They're now beating test for still until 2004. Correct. And they've let other guys slip under the radar. Give us some names, Doug. Bagwell. Jeff Bagwell. Piazza. Piazza. Ortiz. Right. Um, Pudge. Pudge. Right. Absolutely. Probably. Uh, and Pools is going to be another one. He's down the right. road. He's supposedly, he's, his name was supposedly on a league test. But no, not, Albert didn't do it, though. Guarantee you he'll get in no... Oh, he's in first... 100% ballot. No problem. Poppy got in first ballot, too. Yeah. Now, you think, you, know? you think it has a lot to do with a lot of this... There's a lot of disgruntled sports writers out there that are a little... They're basically upset because Bonds didn't give them the time of day. Yeah. You think Poppy's always really, you know, obliging and stuff like that. This is the soup. You know? And these are the two together. Okay. What do you think about that? I think that's it. I think that, you know, they're letting personal opinion get in the way, huh? Because you don't like the guy. Listen, I mean, Bonds, I'm not... But as far as cheating, hasn't everyone cheated bad. once in their lifetime, whether it be on their spouse or in a tested school? These guys, you're, you're basically putting the fate of these guys in stiffs like Dejan Kabatjevic. Yeah. Who basically... Yeah. Is hated by everybody in business. Oh, he's a total. He's a total. And Ron Cook. He Ab said, absolutely. He, this guy, Ron Cook, said that Bonds is the best player he's ever seen play the game, better than Clemente. But he cheated. Play. He cheated. That's so, how he talks. He goes, he cheated, and I cannot vote him in. Okay. Yeah, he'll never, he'll never and he and those guys are basically determining their fate, which is a crock of shit. they got to change the system where players make the decisions. They vote, not sports writers. Okay. I agree. We don't need sports writers, guys that are basically asking interns that work for them to have threesomes with their wife. That's pretty sick. Very sick. You know, a bunch of hypocrites out there. Yeah, it's, I just think that the Hall of Fame's become like a it's it's like a like a morality based vote. Like, oh, you, know, you know, Brian broke through, you know, he cheated, he took you know, his head size got bigger. You know, so what? Here's the thing, dude. Here's, I'm going to give you a very, this is going to end all. As far as steroids go, it's a gray area. In other words, how do you know who took them and who didn't? Right. You don't. You do they don't. Have pictures of them? Do they have pictures? You don't know. These disgruntled sports writers. Have pictures of these guys no. with a needle in their arm injecting this no. stand the ball, whatever they call it. Not at all, no. They don't, right? Nope, that's right. So it's all pure conjecture and speculation. It's all conjecture, that's right. But it, it's, it looks bad, though. It, it's, it, A-Rod's it, another one that's not getting in. No, he won't get in. I mean, here's another one. I mean, I guess he's like on the fringe. I mean, I'm sure Constanco took him. Oh, he admitted to it. He's, he's the one that he's, said about everybody. He's, 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 the the, he's, the, he's the one that opened the. He's the one that opened the can of worms. That's it. And, and I mean, I think McGuire should be in too. He hasn't been in the ballot. Well, we're gonna end it there. Tim Tucker, Carroll, one man's opinion, but I, I I agree with him wholeheartedly. I don't think that sports writers should be able to turn determine the fate if someone gets into Cooper's. And how about one more? We're changing real fast. How about Peter Edward Rose? Okay. Yes. He bet on baseball. It's a cardinal sin. I get it. 
but now Major League Baseball, every single game, they're giving you uh, on the TV, call up uh, certain online sports, Parlay, defend yeah. the game, they'll yeah. give you lines for the game. Either All they Parlay, are is hypocrites. Yep. Total hypocrites. Absolutely. Absolutely. Pete Rose, 100% Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. I would have said that before the gambling stuff. Now, All right. that's 100%. One, one man's opinion. We love this guy. God bless you, Tucker Carroll. Let, let these guys get in before they die, please. Uh, Pete's not going to get in. He'll be dead. Unfortunately. He goes to be 60 in two right. years, too. You have, a, you have a, a Major League Baseball commissioner who's the biggest hypocrite in the world. Single-handedly ruined See, the game. Yeah, why is with he in the hall? His rule changes, his runner on second base. Why, we'll give you one more name, Tucker. We're at it. Why is Bud Selig in the hall? He's you the one, and he's said. an enabler. He knew about it and did nothing when exactly. 1998, when Sosa and McGuire yeah, were breaking all those records. He did nothing. And it brought back baseball from the dead of the 94 strike. Baseball benefited. Absolutely. It's pretty, I'll tell you, it's pretty telling. When the Pirates, and I saw the Pirates play the Cubs with Sosa right. and the Cards with McGuire, the Pirate fans were wanting to see the Absolutely. Hit a home run. Second and third. Second and third. First base over. You walk McGuire. They're booing. Even, even, even the pirate fans. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Tim Tiger Carroll. Talk to you next time. Thank you, sir. Just say it. Peace right. out. <laughs>